Hello folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Holundra for the PlayStation 1. I would like to remind people here that I do love gaming. Gaming is pretty much my life. It's... I love doing Let's Plays. I do. It's just little things in gaming that drive me completely off the wall. Like, for example, I've gone and just defeated the mummy enemy. You know, the Shrine Guardian. You know, that, that should mean that I can proceed with the damn game, right? Apparently not. I'd be like going and taking a Mega Man game, and after you beat one of the Robot Masters, you actually have to go through an additional like 15, 20 minutes of content. Now, don't get me wrong. This is an action adventure game. I did not expect to spend only like two hours playing it. Hell, I previously when I was playing this way back in the day, I had racked up at least 20 hours of game time simply from walking around wondering where the hell I should go, what the hell I need to do next, because I refused to look at walkthroughs. At the time, walkthroughs really weren't a thing because, you know, there wasn't much of the internet. Okay, so this whole place is pointless. That whole thing is pointless. Get it. I can't jump over that. Whatever. Alright. Okay. These aren't spikes. They don't actually hurt you. They're just arbitrary barriers. Ones that won't impede your path. Which is actually kind of good. It's nice. Anyways. But yeah, I love Let's Playing and all that fun stuff. But it's little things like what that game did. Or what this game does every so often. That tend to drive me nuts. <sighs> like, I've beaten the Shrine Guardian. I should move on to the next temple. Oh, no, no. Apparently, that's not the case. No, instead, I spend another 10 to 20 minutes just going around, killing more mummies. Solving more puzzles. The puzzles are solid in this game, though. Well, most of them. Like, I really didn't like the one where I just had to wait on a random flare. Um. Hi. Okay. A against what? I already fought the Shrine Guardian. That doesn't prove anything. Apparently not. Okay. Sure. That didn't take out anything. Yeah, that hurt. Ah. But yeah, I can... It's certain puzzles, like things that aren't really puzzles and more just gambles. Like where the guide actually had to tell you, oh, by the way, there's a one in... You have to get this in six tries. Or you're just wasting your health. And yeah, you guys saw I wasted all my herbs and had to use a strength tonic in order to beat that quote unquote puzzle. Things like this I don't mind. I mean, it's pretty action adventure stuff in an action adventure game. It's pretty sweet. Mind you, I really, really wish that they had reduced the amount of times that the enemies needed to be hit to die. But that's just me, I guess. I don't know. Bye. 
I beat your test of strength. Woohoo! Oh man. And oh, you were the pile of dead bones all the time. Do I get all of these? I got a better weapon. I got a sword. Oh. I'll finally get a freaking better weapon. I got long boots. Although those don't look any longer than my current boots, to be honest. Alright, so I got sword traditionally crafted sword charged by holding square it does seem to have a little longer reach and it does have that sweet charge and a life vessel oh you'll have to pardon being excited for having more life All right, so let's check out those long boots Makes walking in sand easier. That's pretty much it. it. Doesn't allow me to jump on any higher though. Kind of wish it did. I wouldn't mind higher jumping, you know. Jump up by three as opposed to just two. Alright, so I'm able to walk in sand and, you know, jump in sand a lot easier. Which will make coming back through here at some point. You know, if I ever decide to explore through here, a lot easier. Which is cool, because, you know, it's, it's good. Yes. So I don't have to traverse... Oh, builder. So I don't have to traverse all the inane crap. No, no. I just... Jump. Get on my feet and jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Because that's not an idea's reference for you. Oh. That's a weathered scrap of parchment. Ancient scroll says, in barely legible handwriting, Northwest is a hidden shrine in which the Blessed One can bring sand and heart closer. That's rather specific. Wait, is that the shrine that... It they were talking about that I was at. Yeah, it must have been. All right, let's try to explore a little bit because, as you can see, there is treasure around here. It's just a question of whether or not we can reach it. Also, I do believe that this sword does have equal power to. Uh, the Iron Flail. It's just that, well, Iron Flail has a reach, while well, this weapon has this sweet charge. Uh, there is another sword in the game that you can get at this point, but you either A, have to suck, or B, have to get there a, uh, get there by, you know, knowing ahead of time. Either method is fine, it's it's really a more beginnery sword. Which I'm almost considering getting for the sake of this let's play. But it's a pretty decent weapon. Whoa. Don't know where all those guys came from. Seemed like they were having a party. Conga line! The line of doom. You'll notice too that, for the most part, most enemies do not jump. I like this fact. Although these guys do still do a lot of damage, so I'll want to try to avoid them as much as possible. Yes. Yes. So, what's up here then? This is breaking. Probably sequence breaking, you know. Just exploring around the world. 
<laughs> oh wow, I'm nearly at freaking 600 Gilda. Kind of surprised by that, honestly. Like, I thought that the uh, 120 Gilda that I had spent on the armor was going to set me back, but apparently not. What's all in... What's all up in here? Alright. Two, three... Yep, only three slashes in order to kill those things now. Mount Torla, Spare Desert, the Ice Manor, and Inspiration Point. Ow. Hmm. Oh god, the trees! They come to life! And require a lot of hits. You guys don't hear that, the dogs are on the inside. What's over here? Well, I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. Yep, definitely not supposed to be here. This is some sort of ominous. Unless that's like an ancient version of Optimus Prime that's, you know. Wait, is his beard made out of people? Who's Nirud? Nirud. I'm gonna go with Nirud. It sounds less. Stupid? Hang on. I don't know. I'm... I'm not gonna be here yet. Because I'm pretty sure that sequence be breaking as to all heck. So, I'm just gonna go... I'm, I'm just gonna go. Yeah. I wonder when it is I'll get the flippers. Around. Okay. That'll be an absolutely lovely sequence break to do. Sorry about that, folks. Had I my way, I just have a bunch of cats in my house. But then again, I don't live alone and live with the folks. I have to babysit my brother's pets. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where we can go, where we can explore next. I mean, we got a new sword, so we can kill stuff easier. We got ourselves some new armor, so we can defend ourselves easier. Oh, hey. Can I come up here? Yeah. Would have probably killed him at the same time, but hey, let's check out this crag. Uh, this looks ominous. This looks like something I'll have to come to at another time. And that'll be a lovely time, won't it? So I guess I'll just play for an additional like, five minutes or so. I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Eat new steel. Ten whole gilder. Let's put ten whole gilder in this chest. Right next to it, another chest. What's in it? Ten more gilder. Now there was something about these things. But I guess I'll probably know at another time. They're supposed to be warp points. Unless I remember, they'll warp us to 
other points with that, so, you know, exploration won't seem as tedious. Oh, hey, more herbs. We can always go with more herbs. That's a... Uh, yep. The lower village. Probably should head back there now that we have the sand cape and the ability to jump better while it's on sand. Let's go over here first. I wonder what's in here. Ooh. Treasure. Never opposed to treasure. There's more treasure up there, but I can't reach it. I can't reach the treasure. And I can't pick up any of these, so... Guess we ain't hitting that treasure yet. And we can't just fall down. We actually have to go down. Which is kind of a bummer. Oh! It's also easier to walk on water. Alright, so... Yeah, I don't think we got much more exploration we can do at the moment. And that we actually have to proceed with a little bit of plot. Yeah, but I'll meander around, and if not, then I will simply uh, cut out whatever needs to be cut out. That's why I love games like this. You can explore around, you can do whatever. Still can't read that, though. A laundry can't read! Oh, this was that bar, wasn't it? <laughs> sure it is. I'm just an elf. Kill yourself? I kill you. No. Guess not. Well, whatever's in there, I can't yet do. Ugh, scratchy, scratchy. Oh yeah, this is so much faster now. Hear that? It's only four. Four glorious slashes. Wonder if I can actually traverse the water down here. Nope. But I can traverse the sand over here. Aim to get this treasure. It's got myself a straight on me. I don't have to worry about you think that on me ever again. I don't know the deal with those golden statues there. Ooh. This place sounds nice. Oh, it's not a turtle, that's just a rock. One of the best rocks I've ever thrown. Oh man. particular stones there if I want to proceed. And herbs! Hmm. Maybe I'm going too far into the exploration right now because <laughs> it's nearly 20 minutes and I don't think I can actually properly progress through this part. 
Yeah, I don't think so. Oh wait, no. Oh. There's a rock. I got a rock. Right, use the rock. Get up here. Get down here. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Then I traverse up here. Oh. There we go. Oh snap. I remember this. Vaguely, but I remember it. Alright, switch over my weapon. Yeah. I don't trust that. But, it's the path I'll have to go, huh? Ah! Buggery. Ah, what the heck are you? Dude, get your stomach pumped or something. I, ooh. I think they probably should have added in that you can traverse through the sand a lot faster too because that would have been nice information or the sand and the water with these long boots because I think that would have been really nice information in there. oh you cheap ass cheaper that's so cheap 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 talk a lot of people over there This one's more or less about realizing what parts of the path you need to break and what ones you don't. Like if I had broken that stone there, I wouldn't have been able to do it as well. Oh, that's so... I should honestly probably go back to the village and save, seeing as all this progress all of the progress. Am I just not... Okay! I don't think I'm able to actually proceed through anymore. <laughs> and yes, I just tanked my way through that. So... me. Yeah. Really, with those guys, it's more or less about just... Okay. Here. Well, both avoiding them and just timing it so you don't, you know, get yourself killed. <laughs> Whoa. That didn't happen to the ones before. Something healthy? I guess that's healthy. Um, so how am I supposed to go down in the other direction there? Go back down? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I... I don't know. <laughs> I'm dangerously low on supplies right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.